Our cycling clubs are growing and then the community itself is also growing because we have more generous supporters like JCAF, volunteers like Mission 43 here in Idaho. They've helped support our adaptive hand cycling team and our adaptive cycling camps and clinics. So just having all these generous supporters and volunteers show up just helps our cycling community be able to grow and it's growing every year. Idaho has unlimited trails that we can ride and most of them you actually can put a hand cycle on. You gotta be really tough to go do it, but it's there, there is access. Is it improving? All the time. Can we make it better? Certainly. Do we need more people involved? Darn right, that's where the club comes in. Because the club allows able-bodied and people with disabilities to recreate together. Now, this is a pretty amazing community and you know it's fun to ride, it gives a, a different meaning to getting out here and being physical and just embracing everything and giving it everything they've got. We're going out there and doing the same things. We just use slightly different equipment. I've seen a lot of world-class adaptive athletes move here because of the mountains, the rivers, the trails for all four seasons. Whenever we're able to get together like this, a group of people with disabilities, and play, it'll, it's always a good day. To see the whole group together again, to see the road crew and the gravel and the mountain crew together again, it's just inspiring. Last year when I came out, I was a little intimidated, but it doesn't matter. Whoever the person is that's just starting out, somebody's gonna stay with them, somebody's gonna work with them and be with them, and that's, that's what it's all about. The Boise Foothills are some of the best places for adaptive riding, and they're just a few things that need to be changed in the trail system to make it perfect, and the more riders that we have out there, the more likely it's gonna be that, that those changes happen. We still have to be selective with the trails that we ride, um, and having people so we can talk about the trails, what works, what doesn't, and it just gives us more opportunity to ride. We all have something going on, whether we're adaptive or not, and it's just meeting up with people and talking and talking about what everybody's been doing and talking about equipment. It's not like you can just go to a regular bike shop and, and find some of this adaptive equipment. So, you know, having an organization like CAF here in Idaho provides tons of opportunities, you know, not just equipment, but people that are knowledgeable in adaptive sports. Mountain biking is one of the fastest growing sports in the country right now, and we want to be right there with them, so we're trying to introduce as many people as we can to biking. Well, it's been about 10 years since I've been able to really be on a bike. The reward is just showing up and getting out there and, and doing it. There isn't necessarily a crowd of people clapping. It's just the self-satisfaction of pushing yourself, trying to do something a little different, going outside of your comfort zone, you know, and then finding all these people that will embrace you. When I got out and rode more, I got stronger, I got healthier, I had more fun. The social aspect of it is huge. And you may not want to be an Olympian, but it's better than sitting in your living room alone and isolated. You know, you're out here, you're in the fresh air. There's really never been a better time to be an adaptive cyclist here in Idaho. You have the club, mountain biking, road biking, gravel. You have the clinics where there's kids and adults and a variety of abilities. And the more people see our peeps ride, the more they realize what's possible and other people will join. The U.S. Paranational Championships. That exposed more people in our region to see what's possible in cycling. You had the Criterium race, you had the time trial race, you had the road race. I think just getting more people with disabilities out, outside is a great experience. Pretty amazing. I was my first time experiencing something like this. We're getting people riding, but we want to keep people riding. Riding is moving, and moving is living. When you're on the bike, you don't think about anything. I, I mean, crashing is, it's fun. When it happens, it takes us back, you know? I mean, we're riding again. It makes me feel alive.